I'm Caitlin. And I'm Hillary. We're two roommates using cooking to stay connected in a world of isolating technology. Welcome to Talking Taste. Hey guys, welcome back to Talking Taste. This week we will be making baklava courtesy of Big A Audrey again. Anyway, we just wanted to do a recipe that used phyllo dough again because we just have so much of it. Yeah. So for this recipe, we're going to need one package phyllo dough. One pound chopped nuts. One cup butter. One teaspoon ground cinnamon. One cup water. One cup white sugar. One teaspoon vanilla extract. And half a cup of honey. Great, okay, let's, let's get started. So we're gonna take this melted butter and we're going to spread it over a nine by 13 pan. Is that good? Um, yeah. Okay, so now we are going to take our nuts our chopped nuts and you can chop them yourself but we're pretty lazy so we just got free chopped nuts and we're gonna toss these nuts with cinnamon we're using walnuts but apparently you can also use pistachios which yeah sounded pretty good Greece they use walnuts Lebanon pistachios all of them oh we need to toss this toss it okay hands we are going to set this aside. We'll get to that later. So next comes this tricky phyllo dough. All right, we're gonna do something crazy and switch places. So we're gonna place two sheets in here. Okay, so we have two sheets in here and we're gonna butter these. So basically what we're doing is layering two sheets, butter, two more sheets, butter, until we have eight sheets. We just put on eight sheets layered with butter. We're going to sprinkle two to three tablespoons of the nut mixture on top of this. Okay. So now, more phyllo. two sheets of phyllo. So it's a layering process. So we'll do nuts, dough, butter, nuts, dough, butter. Nuts, dough, butter. This is definitely gonna use up our phyllo dough, which is nice. So once you're done layering all the nuts, make sure that you have eight sheets left because those need to go on top layer just like you did the bottom. Two by two. Two by two. Wow. We are going to cut squares before we put this in the oven. Usually you ask me to cut. I know. I'm taking charge today. Wow, yeah. Okay, we're gonna bake this at 350 for 50 minutes. And during the last 20 minutes that this is baking, we're gonna make the sauce, which is uh, sugar and honey and water. Cause you have to put that on directly after the sauce is made. Okay, so we are in the last 20 minute stretch of the baking and we are going to make the sauce now. What we're gonna do is boil sugar and water until the sugar is melted. And then we'll add the vanilla and the honey and then we'll simmer that for about 20 minutes. We are going to spoon the sauce over the top of this baked baklava. Okay, so now we're gonna take two pieces, um, eat it. I want that one. Okay guys, Hillary is super <laughs> excited to eat this. I am. So let's go ahead. It's so good. Mm. I love it. I think it's delicious. I give it a five. What's good about this recipe? It's really sweet. It's really flaky and delicious and it's warm because it's just yes. made. This would be a good party treat. Maybe for the Oscars, if you're having an Oscar party. So you give it a five and I give it, I'll give it a 4.5. I don't, I mean, I like baklava fine, but it's not I my favorite. I love baklava. All right, new fun fact about Hillary. She <laughs> loves baklava, so if you're trying to win her over, <laughs> send her some baklava. <laughs> Don't send me baklava. Okay, I'm gonna post this recipe on www.talkintaste.tumblr.com. 
go over there if you have a sweet tooth. and uh, Or any you, other kind of tooth. If you have a recipe suggestion, just send it to hillkate at gmail.com. And I want to say thank you, you guys, for sending in recipes because we did get a few more. So we'll see you guys later. And until then, stay connected.